from one thing to the next we go. Back on the boat. That's right. Because we because got a doodad. <laughs> we have a couple doodads, some really fun toys. We bought a grill that's designed for boats. It's gas operated. And the mounting points that we got slide into like a pole holder. So we had these on the boat. There are three of them. They're lined across the back. And for now, instead of like cutting a hole and putting a new one in, we're gonna figure out where to mount these uh, because we'd like to move it around the boat and kind of try a few places out to see where we would love it. Also, huge thanks to Omaze for sponsoring this episode. I'll elaborate more in a minute, but be sure and check out www.omaze.com forward slash FSG, our custom link. Like this, put those screws back in it, and then we'll clock this so it's straight up and then we'll have our grill here. You want your grill to swing out over the water so it's not dripping grease in your boat. The other thing that we have is we bought a cutting board where you can like clean fish on. It's got a little receptacle for your knives. And I'm thinking that's probably gonna go on this pole. It does have openings in the back, which you'll see in a minute, where you tilt it. And then anything you're cutting, especially if it's fish or something, it'll, it'll go out there. But for now, I think we round up whatever tools we need and see if we can temporarily get this stuff mounted so we can go on the water because it's a beautiful day in Texas. We are about to present to you guys Aaron's new pride and joy. That would be this guy. <laughs> this is a magma grill which he has been eyeballing since before we even found a boat like yeah. a cabin cruiser. He has been wanting one of these grills and showing them to me online for probably close to years. He's wanted one for a really long time. Yeah, I wanted one for the Malibu, even though he doesn't have a cabin. <laughs> we still like to go out and cook, yep. so. Well, yeah, we've we've used um, a just like dollar store small rectangle grill on the Malibu a handful of times. And now we're excited to actually shoot some of those adventures for you guys, because it turns out y'all like boat stuff. Mm, and that stuff is fun to me, so let's do it. Exactly. You've already gotten a glimpse at the grill. Here is the awesome cutting board that Magma sells. So this is a really thick, super well-built cutting board that has a measuring device where you can see how long your fish is that you caught. And the backside is open so that whenever you're cleaning fish, you can hang this over the water and drain all of the liquids that you don't want in your boat into the lake. These guys can mount anywhere on any of the handles or rails on the boat. So you can mount these anywhere, which means we can mount <laughs> our grill and our cutting board anywhere. And we already have ideas. Pretty fun stuff. It's a gas grill. There's a regulator. This stuff is really high quality. I thought this was neat. This grate. It's designed for marine applications, so you spin it and it locks in. So if you're on rough water, that's not going to be moving around and falling off and dropping your hot dogs in the fire. Dropping your hot dogs <laughs> in the water. <laughs> in the water, or if it slid, it could go into the fire. Is oh, what that's I was thinking. true. But, but the way this one mounts, it's pretty slick. This is where your gas goes through. But before you do that, you screw this guy on, the screws on there, and then it's got this eyelet it goes into here. And then this goes in the rod holder. What I really liked about it is you've got the ability to swing this in the boat or out of the boat or however you want, get it exactly where you want it. So that's pretty cool. And I also love that all this stuff is removable. If we want to put some rod holders in the Malibu or say on the outside of the race trailer or on the little trailer that we pull for drag week, this stuff you just take with you. So it's not, it's not like you're permanently installing it on one thing that you're gonna do and take it everywhere. So that's super cool. So this guy was around 300, 260. I, I wanna say it was like 280 with shipping and everything. This mount for it was like another 70 bucks. But that thing is super high quality. I mean, this is not cheapo junk stuff. And then I believe this with the mount, again, shipping, all this came from Amazon, but I, I think I paid 170 for this, which seems like a lot of money for a little cutting board but i liked it it's what i wanted so when it showed up i thought you know it looks like it's built to the quality that i don't feel bad for spending that amount of money yeah it's super nice cool well i can't wait to get the stuff installed babe yeah and we made a good point i think we're gonna put the grill on this side 
seems to be more room. There's a seat right here. So if we have passengers, it's gonna get in the way of if it were mounted over there. Temporarily, we're gonna put it on one of these cleats. And uh, also she pointed out that the outdoor shower is right here. And if she wants to take a shower while I'm cooking, I would like her to be able to do that. <laughs> this is definitely not a permanent solution because you wanna have access to your cleats. But as far as it goes tonight, uh, we're not gonna be tying up to a dock, so that doesn't matter. I think ultimately if we like it here, what we'll do is buy one of these that installs in the boat and cut a hole and actually install it in the hole of the boat. But this will be a really good way to figure out if we like it in yeah. this location. That seems to bottom out. I wonder if this uh, this bar is too skinny. Yeah, I wonder if it's large enough to handle it. Yeah, it's definitely bottomed out. Our rail is not big enough. We have a couple options. We can wrap tape around there a few times. That would take up the gap. Or, or can, washers. Uh, washers on here. Yeah, that would work. While Aaron goes to grab washers, let's thank our sponsor for this episode, which is Omaze. You guys hit the link in the bio to learn more about this because this is pretty rad. You know that we're huge fans of these early four wheel drives. You guys could win a 1973 fully restored International Scout. It's got fuel injection and it comes with 20,000 bucks cash you can spend on whatever you want. It also comes with a signed copy of Sunday Drive, which is Brett Eldridge's new album. He is a huge supporter of the children's hospital that the campaign is supporting, which is Monroe Carell Jr.'s Children's Hospital. Enter for your chance to win. And at the end of the day, your money has gone to a great cause. Pediatric cancer research, which is a huge gift and a really neat opportunity to win a really cool vehicle. Be sure to check out our custom link www.omaze.com forward slash FSG. Now let's get back to work on the boat. That one's in. I said we put the grill right there, see what it looks like. What well, if I just move that around wherever you want it? I think it's cool there. So let's put the regulator on. Let's go get a gas bottle and see if she'll light up. Little pilot button. Oh, that's far. Can't see it, but it's there, huh? It's hot. Sweet. It's going, babe. It's you working. can't see it in the camera, but I can see the heat like waves on you. Yep. Fuser plate back on. That's ready for the lake. Ready for some food. Yes. That'd be fine. Fair like right there. We need to load some food in case we don't catch any fish. Yeah. Certainly need some vegetables. Yeah. Might want a beer or two. Yeah, it is. Might, might get me a beer. We'll lay the anchor and take the keys out and maybe have one or two beers. Mm-hmm. I'll go on the boat. Emily, want to go to the lake? You ready? You ready to go? We're loading up, bud. You ready to go? Let's hook the truck up. Cool. We got the Cummins generator all loaded up, along with our random Bugatti kit seat. <laughs> oh, jeez. This thing's awesome now. I think we're good to go. Back her down. Okay, Guess I should put the camera down and get on the boat. I don't think you should go be captain. It's time. <laughs> okay, we'll uh, get this blower. The blower's been going for a minute. So we're gonna turn it off to less than draw on the starter. That may not be the right way to do it, but Fire it up. Boat sounds good. Back here churning water. Can you unhook it for me? It's hard for me to get down there. Good to go. He's unhooked. Yeah, unhooked. All right. Back it out, babe. We're gonna try. And he's off. Let's go park it. <laughs> 
This is not a huge boat, but let me tell you something. When you go from a 21 foot ski boat to driving this, everything changes. That bow is so huge and it's super heavy compared to what we're used to. That it just takes us a little bit of getting used to. Different set of skills. Trying to figure out if that's a rod knocking or a lifter going bad. Nah, <laughs> the bimney top's not up. So it's just sitting there rattling like crazy. Greg parked. Time to go get on the boat. <laughs> let's go. All right, let's go pick her up. A little bit closer. We'll watch that bow up there. never been to Cedar Creek Lake, I highly recommend you not come here. We have too many boats on the water. <laughs> not really. <laughs> Almost 30. I'm not a sailor, but I think that's okay. Well, <laughs> I just took probably my last swim in our lake for this season. It was pretty chilly. This one found his cowboy hat and uh, he's casting. He's uh, he's getting ready to catch some stuff. I'm just real. sure of it. Oh yes, <laughs> he's a really, really small little fishing pole. We've got a little park that we go to locally, and it's a hike-in type situation. And I thought, you know what, if I'm going to buy another reel, I'm going to get something I can hike with. This is it. Perfect. It does cast kind of funny. Aaron just brought this up from the cabin. I forgot that we had gotten this hilarious little shark fin life jacket for Finley. And I think he wants to go swimming because he keeps wagging his tail at me and like trying to jump in. So let's put this on him and give it a try. You want to go swimming, buddy? Let's try this. Do you like it? Do you feel secure? How do you feel? You want to go swimming now? You seem kind of stoked. Are you going in? Jump in. Let's go. Come on. Go ahead. I mean, I don't know if I jump in, he'll jump in, but ready to go swimming? <laughs> oh my gosh. That is so good. That is so cute, buddy. You're such a good swimmer. Come here, I'll grab your thing. Come here. Let me grab your thing. That is so perfect. Did you like it? That was so good. Here, this can be your top. Come on. Up here. Come on, I'll try you up out here. This can be your towel. Here. There you go. Okay. Yeah. You went for a good swim. Your life jacket is so good. You love it? That's so good. I bought this kit at Walmart. Some boots. It's got those springs on it. The reason for that is to stick the hold nasty stuff real on Real stinky stuff. <laughs> Finley thinks it smells like freaking dessert. <laughs> Luke, I guess you uh, kind of smash that stuff down in there. There's more stinky stuff. Swivel. If you've never fished for catfish, it's important that you know that they will twist on that rod until they pull themselves out of it. That's why you have a swivel. I don't know if that's true. That's <laughs> what I was taught. About to lose our light. That's right. Well, goodbye, son. Here is our catfish setup. We've got our weight, we've got our swivel, and we've got our stinky stuff. Well, since our sun has set now, we've got our pole out waiting for a catfish. Aaron has just decided, like, Em, it's time to cook something because if it gets dark, then it's not going to be as much fun to cook on our grill right there. So He's gonna start cooking up some dinner and then we will wait for catfish and we'll cook late. And if we catch something, we'll cook it. Breakfast. Or breakfast. Right. 
I got some onions, just like my grandmother used to grow, so those are going to be super tasty. Here is asparagus. So probably what I'm going to do, and also have broccoli in the cooler. I'll cook the veggies first, just right on the grill, season them up. And then I'm going to make a rub for the pork loin. We'll cook that up. The way I'm going to do that is with this awesome dude give us a pan for the boat. And this is a beautiful cast iron pan. Ignore the spider web. But I mean, that thing is just seasoned to perfection. And so what we'll do is we'll cut that pork loin up in sm small enough chunks, put it in here, fry it, get it just right. And we'll have that with our veggies. And that should be really good. And we'll get to use our grill, which I'm jacked about. Yes, I am too. <laughs> <laughs> and it went. <laughs> At least you dropped the foldable item. <laughs> I thought that was screwing in and it totally wasn't. Pay more attention this time. It's going. Okay, cool. Finley's so exhausted from his swim. I am excited about this. Knife holder, which I'm excited about. Asparagus. <laughs> Can I explain to you guys how much fun this is to be cooking on our boat? My two favorite things. So Aaron watches a lot of YouTube, and what he watches is not automotive. Most of what he watches is catch and cooks. So people that go and catch fish and forage for food in the wild and eat it. And he loves that. And uh, this is something that he's very passionate about, which I love mm -hmm. because I love to eat. <laughs> it's so fun. It is so fun. Cranking this bad boy up. Oh. Ooh. I love so it. I see fire now. So beautiful. Oh, that is she's hot. hot and she's glowing. Hey. Okay, we'll get those done and then we'll put some meat on. Awesome. Babe, cooking on the boat. Oh, dude, I've been waiting for this. I know. We've been so busy, we haven't had time to be on the boat. Hey, what you making now? So, we're gonna do a rub for the pork. Paprika. Sugar is a pretty good idea. All right, some salt in there, onion powder, and chili powder. A little more chili. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna put this on the pork loin and because of the sugar, it's gonna create kind of a crust and it'll caramelize and be super good. I'm happy. Yum. Sweet. Just divide this thing up. It's awesome. Tell us how the veggies are doing. They're good, they're sizzling. Maybe a yeah. little bit of oil came out of there and licked the fire up a little bit. Looks like it did. You guys see these bugs? This, this is exactly why we're downstairs. Okay, let's uh, try this out. Yeah, so we've never used this. That lifts out of the way. I filled this tank earlier. So if I move this lever, see that flapper coming open? That is the wick where the alcohol is. Close it, that kills it. Open it, you can light it. There's a park extinguisher right there. <laughs> so, so, it's lit. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Cool. It's definitely lit. So, yeah. close that. We have heat. Let's try it out. Okay. Look at these veggies. Let's take dander. Can I try one? Mmm, they look cooked. Oh, yeah. Maybe a little bit overcooked, but. That's okay. Yummy. That was good. I love asparagus. So good, babe. I'm gonna try a little tree. Mmm. Yum. That's good. So our oil's hot now, huh? It sounds like it's hot. It's cracking. Oh. Oh, yeah. 
It's good. Alcohol stove for the win. That's denatured alcohol. We picked it up from Walmart, the paint department. <laughs> That's what people say works in here. So no electricity, using our stove. Yeah. <laughs> Checking on the boat. He's decided it is time to pull four coins off. Yep. That's good. That looks great. Thank you. Mm. Well, Aaron has finished his dinner. I am still savoring mine. What a lovely evening. Even though we didn't catch any fish, which we still might, you guys will know if we do, because I'll fire the camera back up. But I think we're just gonna kind of snuggle in and um, see you guys when it's coffee time in the morning. Super sweet evening on the boat. The and best. Looking forward to the morning. Slept really nice up there. We didn't drift in the night, that's good. Good little island over there. And I'm gonna make some coffee because it's coffee time. Then I'm gonna fire the generator up because this phone has like 6%, hers has a zero. It's totally dead, so we'll get this open. Didn't have light this morning. Maybe I'm Use all the alcohol last night. Well, she needs coffee, clearly. <laughs> I finally got this going, and what I did is I just opened it up, lit it, and then closed this back down. So we have hot water with coffee. And we wait three minutes. It feels like winter. It's pretty cool. I think when I woke up, it was 61 outside which is perfect sleeping on the boat weather. Mm -hmm. Trying to catch some breakfast. Good job. Our pole last night, I don't know if we had a fish on it or not, but it was tangled up under the boat somewhere. So I'm gonna assume there's a, about a 40 pound catfish yeah, on it. Yeah, it was huge, I'm and sure. And it just swam around the motor a whole bunch to break our line. Yeah. I think that's what happened. Yeah, I bet so. Put your start in here, Mr. Captain Pilot Cook Reeves. Well, I'm gonna try to make some biscuits or some croissants or whatever comes out of that can. Oh, yes. Wrapping them up. Go off to the very dirty cockpit. Uh mm huh. -hmm. All the bugs. I'm gonna cook some bacon in here. I'm a little bit nervous because this area. It's so nice, I don't want to get bacon grease and everything, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Sleeping dog. It's a little bit noisy in here. You hear stuff rattling around. It's because I fired the engine up. I was concerned that the battery was getting too low. So I fired it up, let it run for a little bit. Nobody's out there cleaning. <laughs> oh, it lit that time. Sweet. Make some bacon. I smell, them. I smell these out here. Oh, the biscuits? Yeah, we should check them. They do smell kind of hot. Oh, they're getting a little hot on the bottom. This is really weird, but I'm gonna flip this whole thing over. They're cooking though. Heck yeah, that's Sweet. awesome. Nice. Three salts. Sizzling, that's good. I'm gonna make some mashed potatoes for breakfast. I know that's weird, but I'm gonna do it anyways. So it's gonna be the uh, little instant potatoes. It'll be good, I think. Here's what I'm thinking. Get some potatoes and eggs. It's kind of like a quiche, right? Just do it. Probably don't need all these. Put some eggs in there. Put some water in there. Maybe a bacon grease in our quiche thingy. Sounds good to me. Got 
Okay, so we got our potatoes and our eggs in there. Put them on the grill. Try to tuck that handle in there so it'll still close some. Nice. Except for that handle's plastic, so we'll <laughs> keep an eye on it. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> yeah. She's getting it real clean. We're just saying that the bugs were so bad last night. You still see a little bit in this corner that she has to deal with, but uh, it's a lot of work keeping the boat clean. If anybody has any tips, let us know. That's right. Uh, I saw on Amazon, they've got this pump that pumps lake water out and you can put a water hose on it and spray it in the boat. And I think we're gonna buy that because well, the outdoor shower is there and it could do the job for wasting our water. We've yeah. only got 30 gallons, so um, it'd be nice to pump up some seawater or in this case, lake water <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and clean the boat with it. It would be awesome. So Aaron went to go check the pole <laughs> and we have the most adorable little catfish. <laughs> hey, little dude. Finley, do you see that fish? Hope you Hope grow to be a big fish. Well, we got a fish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the sun's come out enough for me to have courage to get in the water. I'm gonna swim Finley to the little sandbar over there so he can go halting because it's 11 and uh, we got on the boat around 5 p.m. last night, so he's been waiting a while, so. I'm gonna swim him to shore. Just go for a swim. He really doesn't seem to mind it. Okay, you ready? Let's go. He's excited. You ready? Oh, it's chilly. Oh, you ready? Let's go. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> I found these on the island. <laughs> I didn't catch it. A big, big vine. Just growing a whole bunch of them. That's a cucumber. Is it? It's shaped like a squash. Might be. This knife is nice and sharp. Oh. It smells sweet. It smells like a cantaloupe. Yeah. It's a melon of some type. Do fish eat it? What you got? I really burned biscuits. Yeah. Some quiche thingy. I made with potatoes and oh. eggs. And... Oh, babe, that looks super yummy. Good. I'm excited. And we have the Korean pancakes. Yum. Scallion pancakes. Yum. Bacon. Hey, thank you. <laughs> yeah. We'll see how it is. Hey, Finley. Did these cook in bacon grease? Yep. No, anything cooked in bacon grease is going to be delicious. Oh, you know it is. Let's see about this guy. Ooh. It smells really good. Breakfast time. Yum. Really good. It's kind of fluffy and savory. So I buy these at Walmart. They're like $4.99. They're so nice if you're camping or in the race trailer or the boat. You get all the seasonings. You don't have to carry a bunch of different stuff. But we did carry a bunch of different stuff. <laughs> don't judge me. <laughs> Even though I didn't make a fancy meal, I still brought all my stuff. Though. Hey, pork loin last night was really tasty. Yeah. Look at her. She gave herself more burned ones. No, I don't care. It's yummy, babe. Look, see, the inside's still flaky and perfect. I tried to pan past your bathing suit really quickly. <laughs> there are lots of places you can see girls in swimsuits. This one might not be that place. No, it's not that place. All right. I've got the boat all cleaned up. Yeah. 
and it is time to take down the grill and the cutting board. So Aaron's gonna right. disassemble it all. All right, ready for the next adventure. Wait, you forgot the little brown pillow. That's very important. Very nice, very good. <laughs> yeah. You forget things. What? I'll do stuff like that. I'll do stuff, I don't fluff up pillows, I'm a no. cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> Time to go home. Soon we'll be in the Bahamas or down on the coast, spending days on the boat. If you guys watch these videos, that'll help us be able to do that. It'll be really Absolutely. fun. If you're wondering where that line goes. And that's really nice. There's a button on it. If it gets knotted up or something, you can come down here and free it up. gonna dock the big boat. It's a little bit intimidating. I'm nervous. You remember what Robert said, right? Yeah, only approach it at the speed you're willing to hit it. Yeah. There you go. That's all you need to know. This is a pretty protected little cove over here. So I don't want to drift it sideways. Well you can do that. You just gotta let me spend more money. Thrusters. We can get some side thrusters. <laughs> like a real big That's boat. A <laughs> little bit of power. Looking good. Come on, buddy. Come on, Ben. Let's go, bud. Can we make it? Nice. So if you guys are thinking about getting a big boat, yeah, man, go get you one. They're cheap. I just found one on Craigslist a couple days ago, and it's 4,500 bucks. It's a Sea Ray. It's 30 feet. It's got two 350 Chevy engines. As long as you're willing to work on them. I think it's a well worthwhile expense. You can't get it too deep in the lake because it will float to whatever side it wants to. She comes down the ramp. Emily has back trailers since she was probably, well, 18 years old. She's on boats our entire life and she's gotten really good at it. Let's go up there and see if we can stab this thing. And Or something's leaking water because that is a bunch of water for one night out. Wrenching on the boat is mandatory, so yeah, and it's fun. It. Got him, good to go. Well, that was an awesome adventure. <laughs> First time having an overnight and making all of our food on the boat that was really fun, even though we didn't catch any fish to cook. We will next time still fun having food on the boat. Also, huge thanks to Omaze for sponsoring this episode. We really loved working with you guys. Be sure to check out the link in the description, www.omaze.com forward slash FSG. Thanks y'all. Oh, we hope you guys enjoyed this episode too. Um, once we bought the boat and did the first few boat videos, so many of you said that they wanted to see more boat stuff. So we will be filming our adventures on the boat and posting them along with all the automotive stuff and a little aviation stuff dropped in here and there. That's right. Like I was saying earlier, I found a Sea Ray for 4,500 bucks. It's got two uh, 350, I think it's 30 feet long, two 350s. And uh, the cool thing that we're learning right now is if you got a big boat, this time of year, you can still use it. The Malibu would have been too cold, not that much fun. But this one, I mean, it's got a cabin, so you go downstairs, warm up, come back out, enjoy the weather. Super and sweet. It's good. Get you one. So are we buying another boat? 
Well, we might buy it and flip it. Or <laughs> at least repost it and hey, one of you guys will buy it. It'll be fun. I want to go see it. Anyway, <laughs> the adventures continue, y'all. We'll see you guys on the next episode. Later.